my name is Darrell Hill uh, from Catherine in the Territory. I operate a small cons one man consultancy business called Soil Save, and over here in Kelly running a road control workshop. Hillside, here's our water flows, here's our roadway. So I come onto the property to get the manager to go for a drive. First thing he does is take me down and show me this big washout. What are we going to do there? Nothing. Because that's the result. The water flow has been coming from up here, flowing down the road, crowded this washout. I'm not going to do anything with that. I'm wasting my time. I could, I could make it look pretty, but I get the same feeling hugging a tree. So now I turn around and drive back up the slope. These are never up the top. They're always down the bottom because the water's built up. You know, it's coming off here, getting to the windrows, starting to come this way. Um, so it's coming down here. So now I have to go back and find the, the top of the slope. So I go back up here. Here's the crown, the ridge. You know, just a gentle ridge, red soil ridge. So in this instance, it's a 2% slope. It's feel like black soil country around Long Reach, long big ridge running right up. It could be a kilometre from here back up to here. So the handouts, the bank spacing can indicate four bank, four equal parts. The most important bank of the whole lot is this one up here. Everybody wants to start down here because that's where the washout is. But basically to have a look at the road and just, yeah, just to highlight the need for the, the uh, need for surveying the dumpy levels, the use of dumpy levels. We've had represented quite a few properties here this morning. Uh, it's a terrible sight from my point of view, but really good from the levelling exercise. The fact that all the participants here today had to do a lot of levelling, understand the need for the levelling, because that will tell us for sure which way the water flows and that sort of thing. Um, I would have liked the site with a bit more slope to it. It's a lot easier for young participants to understand it all, but you've got to make do with whatever's provided. Um, so it was good in that respect, but really good from the levelling exercise. Um, so basically what we did was uh, peg a diversion bank um, with the outlet and the sill, that type of thing, and this long cave, about a 30 metre bank, and it's taller with the grader. So, uh, yeah, um, unfortunately the ground was that flat, there's not a lot of variation, we weren't able to, able to do some of the other techniques, but at least we've done the dead one bank as the display, um, and the participants but surveyed it. Well, it's, it's been proven to me in the past that, especially the young fellows, they'll sit up the back of the room, they don't make much comment, but uh, today most all these young fellows joined in, they've all had a go at it, and to me it's like planting a seed. You hope that that seed will strike somewhere, and I've had instances where 10 years later, a young fellow's been at a workshop and come back as a station manager and realised, well, gee, it's time to do something about it. I'm James Camp from Kelly Station. Uh, Chris Morrow from Nirima Station. The best thing I learned off Daryl today was the importance of uh, surveying the land prior to beginning any works, um, yeah, I've never had to survey it before, it's all just sort of done by eye and it really does um, highlight the, the deficiencies in what you do. It's, you might spend a lot of time putting a lovely woeboy in, but if it's in the wrong spot then it's wasted money really. We have built a lot of woeboys in our roads and, and we need to build some in our um, country that's eroded, so I just want to highlight those areas and go and start on that, on those places. Uh, now that we've refreshed on our fundamentals of how it's, it is to be done. I'd also like to really thank the uh, state NRM for, for funding, helping fund this, uh, this project. It really uh, has a big impact on all the people involved in it.